Hello! Yes, it's me. It's Roxy. I know you're probably thinking, who is that? Roxy doesn't do videos on her blog anymore. Well, yes I do. Uh, I apologize. I know it's been forever since my last video. Uh, life has been a little busy, but uh, I am getting back into my videos again, so I'm super excited about that. So, I was going to um, just an FYI, it's a nice day out today, so all my windows and doors are open, so if you hear lawnmowers, kids yelling, I'm just going to plow right ahead of that and pretend that we didn't hear a thing. Uh, also, you know, I should, probably should have done a little bit of more tidying up around here. As you can see, the topiary is in behind for Jessica's and Scott's wedding, uh, but I decided I'm just going to leave those there. Uh, so it's hard to believe. But Jess and Scott get married in less than two weeks, and in less than two weeks, my baby girl will be Mrs. Jessica Shaw. Sorry. We are so excited for them, and uh, God's doing great things in our lives, and we're so excited for them. So, um, <clears throat> quickly, let's change the subject. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I put together Jessica's wedding invitations. I know I've been saying that I was going to do this forever. Well, forever has now arrived. Um, so I hope you'll stay with me for that. I uh, also wanted to quickly show you these are the um, wedding favors that we did for the wedding and the kids are having a candy bar which is so cool. There'll be a, an area where there's a whole bunch of candy available and this is what people will fill up the, their goodies with is their wedding favors. So um, kind of tying in the wedding invitations and the color theme with that. So uh, I've got lots to show you. I've got tons of ideas for videos again swirling up in my little head. I want to show you how I emboss the napkins and even some non-wedding stuff too. So thanks for being so patient with me. I've missed you guys. I've missed this kind of connection that we have with each other and uh, I promise things are going to be different. So thanks for sticking with me and join me to see how I put together the wedding invitations. Thanks. Okay, Bye. but okay, I am back. <laughs> Even though I just said like goodbye a second ago. I'm back. Here I am. <laughs> um, okay, so I am going to show you how to put to how we made and put together Jessica's wedding invitations. Um, it it's a little time consuming, but it's easy, which is good, right? I don't mind something taking a little extra time if it's easy. <laughs> um, so quick note, you'll notice the designer paper that I'm using on Jessica's invitation has since retired so you'll have to excuse me for that uh, but this is the designer paper that we did use uh, when it was still current for her wedding invitations. So the other thing I'm going to quickly tell you is I'm not going to bog you down with um, measurements right now. I'll give you some basic ones but then I'm also going to post on my uh, blog all the measurements so that they're there for you. Uh, also, if you're planning on making these invitations and you have any questions, please, please, please don't hesitate to email me and I'd be happy to clarify anything that I've made foggy. Because trust me, I understand that I make things foggy. Okay, so we're going to start with um, the base card in, for the invitation is five and a half by ten and three quarters, which means out of every eight and a half by eleven, you're going to get two invitations, which is great. Um, I also want to, before I start, is to thank Lori Heiling. Her, the reason that these invitations came to life is because when I was staying with her in Arizona for leadership, uh, love you, Lori, miss you like crazy. Well, okay, let's again, let's change the subject. Um, Lori had just finished making wedding invitations and she pulled them out to show me and I was freaked out. She graciously gave me her template and uh, a sample of the invitation. So what we did is pretty much all based on what Lori's uh, invitations that she made um, are based on and I just made it smaller so that it would fit into a regular um, uh, A2, I believe that's correct, A2 envelope. So what we have again is the five and a half by ten three quarters. I have scored in at two and a half and six and three quarters. And when that folds in, you can see that I've got like a quarter of an inch gap here, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want this to fit into tight into the score line because if it goes in tight, it tends to make the invitation bulky. So by making it short of the score line, it lays flatter. So that's what we want. We want to make sure that it lays flatter. Uh, so that's 
the base card. Okay, so now what we do is, and I have to say, um, I had already done this video and we were getting ready to edit it and somebody had changed the quality of the video so it looked like garbage. So I'm redoing the video so I had to scramble for literally because what I have left of the groom DSP is scraps. So I actually had to reuse a piece of of this so you'll that's why it's all kind of torn and crappy. So this piece is uh, two and a half by five and a half. And again, okay, I'm not going to bog you down with measurements because I'm going to post these all. So what we wanted was a little flash of color of the red because red is one of their colors. Now when I was doing my samples, I actually put this down first and then laid this on top, but I didn't like the big splurge of red. So what I did instead was to take my red which is going to give us just that hint of of color oops that's not lining up well at the bottom okay and that way okay it it's red there but when I tape it onto the outside flap this is the outside flap which is scored at at the two and a half point inch point and then lay that down all you get on this side is that little hint of red rather than that big big piece of red which I which I liked better okay so front flap is done you're gonna be shocked at how easy this this is to do I hope you're shocked so now again uh, for the inside pocket this is the other thing I freaked out, loved about the invitations Lori did. This is much more like an actual pocket rather than um, just glue dotted flat down. So we create, uh, Lori created flaps. So that's what I did. So for the inside pocket, again, not going to give you measurements because I'm going to post all those, but I'm just going to show you what I did. Scored in at half an inch on three sides, just like that. That was easy. And then um, what I did was I just clipped out these bottom squared corners. And the reason I did that was to help um, make it the pocket less bulky. Uh, something that you're going to need to make sure whenever you do like an invitation of any kind is go to your post office and have it weighed before you mailed it, mail it so that you don't get a whole bunch sent back like we did. What's that? Oh, it's cardstock. Um, okay, so then all I did was, and I would recommend sticky strip for this, but in the interest of time, I'm going to use Hunde Dundi Snail and just tape those three sides. Don't tape here. Actually, I made a mistake, but I'm going to, on the whim, fix my mistake because that's what we crafters do. We fix our mistakes on a whim. Okay, this should have been taped in before I taped down the sides. Because that's that again, just that little peak of, of color there. And actually, I made another mistake. but Okay, so... Because <laughs> this is just plain black, and it's supposed to be... Y'all love me still, right? For doing this. Because you're probably all going, <laughs> That looks like something I do. Okay. So we're going to rip this out. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And we're going to put it in the pretty one. This is the pretty one. All right. And then we're going to tape these sides down. I just wanted to show you on the black piece what I did because I didn't even have a big enough piece of DSP left to show you on DSP, which is designer paper. Oh, designer series paper. Okay, so then that just, and you're probably wondering, how in the world did that woman make 90 invitations? It doesn't make any sense to me. She's not that smart. Okay, so there is, voila, our pocket. And then what we did was, for our response cards, this is three and a half by five and a quarter. Put all the uh, information that we needed for RSVPing, and then on the flip side, we put a return 
address uh, sticker here that went back to Kevin and I, and of course a stamp. So then I used the wedding suite, and I didn't bring it downstairs with me, but I used the wedding suite stamp set. Oh my gosh, love that set so much. Um, and just kind of threw that flash of red on there like that. And then when the kids got registered, and this actually, we came up with this when Kate and Ben got married last year. Yes, two daughters in 15 months. Am I a basket case? Uh, wherever the kids got registered, they would get business cards from that business saying that they were registered there. And it, I didn't like the way it looked in the invitation. So we printed up through the computer just where Kate and Ben were registered and listed all the locations. And then just made that tie in with the invitation. So we did the same thing with Jess and Scott where they were registered and carried that wedding suite onto there like so. And then for the actual pertinent information for the wedding, uh, Kevin and I printed and Jessica approved and Scott approved of the wording of the invitation and then we just printed that up on the computer, uh, printed it out on Whisper White and then cut it. Now, we could have brought some of that real red in here but I didn't have a lot of white showing and I didn't want to overdo it which is really quite bizarre for me because I'm the queen of overkill for everything. So then we just taped that in, plopped in our reply cards and our where the kids are registered and then it closes up like so and then we just created a, a belly band to go around it and real red, I believe this is one inch, this is black at three quarter inch and then just again carried that there's this little um, flourish in the wedding suite that I don't know if you can see that that we embossed just as kind of that center little medallion part for the uh, belly band and that's it seriously that's it so I hope this made sense to you which in my mother of the bride less than two weeks to go state of mind I really don't know if you understood a word I said. Anyway, I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me, and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, remember to hug the ones you love, and if you have any other questions for me, don't hesitate to ask, like, where does Roxy get her nails done? I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? If you want to know, I'll let you know. Um, so thanks for stopping by. Promise more videos to come. Have a great day. Love ya. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.